Endemism is this idea that these things exist here all the time. Okay, so that's something that is endemic. It's in your compost bin. It's in our backyards. It's at Grand Canyon National Park. And it's here it, uh, widespread and really all over the place. And then zoonoses, which is really the kicker with this talk, is transmission of a pathogen from a wild animal to a human. Okay? Um, and so um, something about and what has brought me to northern Arizona is the fact that we actually have a number of rare and dangerous pathogens in, in northern Arizona uh, that are widespread and all over the place. Um, so again, um, a manuscript was published a little bit ago in Nature. Um, and this, what this manuscript wanted to do was map all of the emerging infectious pathogens that have been occurring over the last 50 or so years. This map shows you that something that you would probably think. A vast majority of these pathogens have shown up uh, in circumtropical regions, right? Higher biodiversity, higher biodiversity with that fleas ad infinitum means that, guess what, we got way more bugs. At the same time, what they ended up seeing that 70% of these emerging infectious disease events are the result of a zoonosis. So again, a pathogen coming from an animal to a human, and vector-borne. Vector-borne is the idea that an arthropod, or a flea, a tick, a louse, a mosquito, a biting fly, there's a whole long list of these things, um, transmit pathogens to people.